guys, this is Michael X. White here. Figured we'd uh, take a walk out to the barn and, uh, well, the detached garage and show you my Gravely's I have to date. It all started with my grandfather. I inherited a 5260 eight horse Gravely with a steering sulky and I saw the power these machines have and I fell in love with them. Here's an L8. See it's got the little knob down there for the high low. Uh, I had to take the carburetor off this one which I got this for 75 bucks. The carburetor is completely locked up on it but it actually surprisingly looks to have a good governor and other good parts. The clutch, the starter clutch is good it's, you know, I think once I fix that buggered uh, carburetor will be good on this one. Uh, clean out the flow. Now this one here with the, this is a LI. Okay, sorry about the uh, focusing there, but this is a cheap, this is an LI. Uh, it's got the gear reduction wheels. I, like I said, I said I borrowed the starter from this one over here to put on this one. And the belt actually from this one. Uh, it's a good tractor. The carburetor was buggered on it. Uh, had some sort of gray stuff in it. Uh, tore the carburetor apart and cleaned it up. Put new fuel lines with an inline fuel filter. Look at the, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is some serious junk in that cleaned out uh, float ball. So keep your float ball on, guys. It'll get the big stuff. Look at that. Look at all that sediment. It's a lot of sediment. Okay, so that's this tractor. Uh, it's a brush hog. Now, hopefully, that's a steering sulky I'm working on. Here's my 5660. Uh, it's got the quick hitch on it with a snow blower. Here we have, I believe it's an L, just an uh, L. It's pretty quick. Two speed. Got this one for 300 bucks. Uh, the reason I bought this one here for 300, it does run. It ran when I got it. Person stored it with a dry carburetor. Thanks goodness. Was because it had this implement, the buzz saw with 100 with the 106 head. So, or maybe it's not the 106 head. It's the 146 head. But it's a beefy head. And I did run the saw. Runs good. Love it. Nice little implement there for me. Let me turn the lights on over here so you can uh, see back in there what I got going on. Mm. I gotta hurry up because I gotta finish brush hog in the field. But uh, this is a good machine here. Uh, this is my L8. Uh, oh, turn that. There we go. This is my L8. Uh, the guy I bought it off of, I bought the steering sulky first for a hundred, and then I bought the tractor for three. Uh, the tractor came with the 42 inch cutting deck and the dual wheels. Um, so yeah, I was like, yeah, I'll buy it. I didn't even. He didn't know if it still ran. It'd been parked for four years. I had uh, put some gas in it and. Uh, well, it fired right up, guys. Uh, but there is a problem with it. And if someone can help me, uh, hopefully one of the Gravely guys can help me, uh, it doesn't go into low. It only goes into high. So my LA is not functioning as it should. Not sure if that's because the bolt right there is missing or not on the top of the selector. Um, but uh, that one currently does not run so at any rate those are my gravelys right now uh, i'm going to pick up another gravely with a cultivator because that's what this tractor is going to be even though i'm just about ready to change the oil right now and it is a frankenstein tractor okay it is a monster gravely why do i say that look at the horsepower engine 6.6 .6, slanted plug look at the air filter okay 
Look at the, the casing right here. It looks straight down. That's a fitting for where the oil bath air filter should have been. I don't know what they did. They tapped it out or something. Got stuck. Looks like they tried to tap it and there's some metal stuck in there. I'm just going to JB weld over it. Uh, I'm going to JB weld over that and um, seal it up so it gets oil pressure again. But good tractor was running it today. Uh, does burn a little bit of oil, but oh well, so I got to add oil every once in a while. I'm not one of these guys that's going to, you know, tear the whole head apart and rebuild the head and do all that stuff. As long as it's running and it's running good, which it is, I'm happy. Um, carburetor rebuild is pretty good on it. Uh, I cleaned everything out. Took me a week. Soaked it all really well. I did not use that dip tank that chem dip i think it's junk uh you just get the sea foam this is what you get right here guys if you want to clean out a carburetor and i'm serious about it deep creep okay by sea foam i'm telling you this is the stuff you want to spend your money on powers through rust varnish carbon it really does okay the chem dip stuff people say on forums well, it's not really working. You know, I don't know what these people are talking about. It's true. If you have a carburetor that's been sitting for four years, a decade, uh, chem dip is not going to work. It is not going to work. But this stuff will. Trust me. I just used it on that carburetor on th that uh, gravy over here, the LI, with the gear reduction wheels. And it worked, okay? It worked, right? Worked better than carburetor cleaner, worked better than acetone, worked better than that crappy chem dip. It worked very well, okay? So if anybody can help me out in the Gravely community with that L8 in the back there, as far as being able to get it to go into high-low gear, I changed the oil on it. The oil level's good. It does not burn oil. Um... It will, it, sometimes it even jumps out of, uh, high gear when I'm mowing with it. So, oh, creme de la creme. What is that guys on the shelf over there? What does that look like? Not the spare starters on the top shelf, but the middle shelf. It's cracking from the, from the weight of the beast. What is that? That's right. It's a gravely chainsaw guys. Gravely Chainsaw. I'm going to pick up a scoop, uh, Gravely Scoop, this next weekend with the tractor and uh, my cultivator. So I'm going to have the scoop. That's fun. Kind of useless, but anyways, I got a part up here. Uh, came with the LI with the reduction wheels. Uh, it's the front with the brush hog with, with chains. Really, it's just dusty, guys. It's never been used. The paint on it is, like, sparkling. Just dusty from sitting. So uh, maybe I'll sell that. I don't know. Somebody sent me a message. Um, anyways, thanks for looking. Hopefully the uh, Gravely guys, uh, especially the young guy that builds all kinds of tractors, he's really cool. I love watching his stuff. I love watching him ride around on his Gravelys. Would be nice to go to a mow in here. I know I'm not going to make the one in New York this year, but it'd be nice to uh, to uh, make a mow in and see all you guys that I watch on the videos all the time, other gravely enthusiasts. Well, I'm going to get to changing the oil on this bad boy, and uh, yeah, so uh, you'll see more of me. Hopefully, you guys will comment. Maybe you can give me some tips on what's going on with that uh, L8 Trans because I really don't want to tear this engine off of this and you know take the drivetrain off of this and put it on the other one that's so much work because i know i'm going to get this tractor right here running i know i am so you know even though the carburetor's buggered on it that's not too bad okay michael x white signing off guys take care